Sup, you guys? ASD Classified here. So, it's been a while, right? How you guys doing? You doing alright? Cool, cool. I'm doing good. So, Ninja Steel. Ninja Steel, final thoughts on it. Look, whatever I said about Ninja Steel in the past, it still stands. I really have nothing new to add on that front. This season is just booty. It's just bad, okay? <laughs> just bad. It is one of the it is the most boring season of Power Rangers <laughs> I've ever had the displeasure of viewing. It is so boring and dull and it's just they had all these ideas that actually are good. They had good ideas but executed not one of them right. Not one. <laughs> And there is barely any story here, man. And I cannot stand that. It was just filler central. Barely any story. What little story they had concluded once we found out who Aiden was. And that was in season one of Ninja Steel. So what the hell was Super Ninja Steel about? Couldn't tell you. Absolutely nothing. That's what it was about. I'm just... <laughs> I'm fed up, man. I'm fed up. But the most aggravating thing about Ninja Steel is that it disrespected the fuck out of Ninja Storm. Ninja Storm is one of the best Power Ranger seasons ever. Ever. Okay, I love Ninja Storm. And Ninja Steel just insulted Ninja Storm to no end. I will never get over the fact that they called Brody's daddy the world's greatest ninja. Brody's daddy is the world's greatest ninja. <laughs> they said this and put Ninja Steel in the main Power Ranger timeline when they didn't have to do so. Okay, they could have easily made Ninja Steel its own alternate universe like they did RPM. But no, no, no. Main Power Ranger timeline. But somehow, Brody's daddy, who we never saw do one fucking ninja technique. He's the world's greatest ninja in a world with Shane, Tori, Dustin, Blake, Hunter, Cam, Sensei Watanabe, are you serious? In a world with these ninjas, he's the best? Man, Ninja could whoop his ass, are you kidding me? Season 3 Mighty Morphin Rangers could whoop Brody's daddy's ass. Are you kidding me <laughs> with this bullshit? <laughs> Not to mention, you know, Ninja Steel is the 25th anniversary season. They didn't bring back one person from Ninja Storm to be in the Ninja anniversary season. And they didn't make any type of references to Ninja Storm, which could have been very easy to do, you know, especially since there were ninja academies all over the planet. Not one fucking reference when Ninja Steel takes place in the main Power Ranger universe. Are you ridiculous? While I did stop watching Ninja Steel, I did make an effort to watch the finale of Super Ninja Steel and the Christmas episode of Super Ninja Steel. So let me go ahead and talk about that now, okay? So the finale, it was garbage. Surprise. <laughs> it was trash. Madam Odious and that two second fight. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that two second fight, that was awful. Madam Odious finally gains the power of the Ninja Nexus Prism and the Rangers still body that hole in two seconds. Are you? What? No sense of threat. None. Preston might as well showed up and did Avada Kedavra and finished this shit. Like, what? You know, this fight reminded me a lot of the Overdrive finale. I despise the Overdrive finale. <laughs> and one of the main reasons as to why is because of Flurries. Flurious obtained the power of the Corona Aurora, the power of the gods, the power of multiple pantheons of gods. And what did Flurious do with this power? He barely froze one city, not even the entire planet, one city. He could not freeze the Power Rangers and then he got easily defeated by the Rangers. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say Rangers? No, just Ranger. <laughs> Flurious with the power of the gods, got defeated by one ranger in a battle house. Pathetic. And yet somehow this Ninja Steel finale fight with Madame Odious is even more pathetic than that. So the Christmas episode, I kind of like that one. Like by Ninja Steel standards, it was a pretty decent episode. You know, it had a lot of corny shit. <laughs> That's right up my alley. You know, we had a monster that turned the rangers into snowmen. I laughed. I laughed. And when she turned the Megazord into a snowman, 
I laughed. So this is the kind of corny shit that I look forward to seeing in my Power Rangers. So the Christmas episode was alright. I'm actually surprised that the show even remembered that Sledge existed. Like, <laughs> you brought Sledge back in the first episode and then completely forgot about him until, what, episode 22? Really? Ridiculous, man. Sledge... Sledge should have been the main villain of Super Ninja Steel. We should not have been looking at Madame Odious for this entire time. Sledge and company are my favorite villains of the Saban brand seasons. I mean, <laughs> why wouldn't they be? Like, I love Sledge, man. So, it's very disappointing that he was not the main villain of this, of this season, but at least you brought him back for the Christmas episode. And I like them in this episode. It's just... I don't know, man. Y'all kind of made Sledge a punk in this episode. So, first of all, Sledge waited until Madame Odious was destroyed to return to Earth. Really? Really? Don't tell. Sledge been found out that Madame Odious, you know, tricked him and took the Super Ninja Steel for herself. Why didn't Sledge immediately turn around to confront Madame Odious? You really expect me to believe that Sledge was afraid of Madame Odious? Get the fuck out of here. And... There was also a part of this Christmas episode where dinosaurs showed up and <laughs> and I think it was a T-Rex. So a T-Rex scared Sledge. Are you kidding me, man? Come on now. Come on, dog. <laughs> a T-Rex scared the main villain of a Power Ranger season when Sledge literally has a laser he could just shoot and kill the thing. Don't do this. Like, not to the main Power Ranger villain. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> The little team up with Coda and Preston, I really have nothing to say about that. It's fan service, it's fine. Like, I don't, I mean, fan service is usually a good thing. <laughs> so I'm not bothered, it's just, it's not blowing me away. I guess, like, they probably expected it to blow <laughs> Power Ranger fans away. I mean, yeah, it's, it's cool to see Coda. He's one of my favorite Rangers, but yeah, the episode itself was fine. One last thing about the Christmas episode. <sighs> They decided to kill Sledge and company again. <laughs> you know, they had that scene where, you know, Sledge, Posandra, and Wrench, they opened up, you know, a, a Christmas box and it's a bomb! Like, okay. <laughs> I get the reference. You know, cute. Yeah, callback. <sighs> but that's how they die? Really? Again? <laughs> it's just, they, they blow up. Like, I don't know. I, I just... Not like, they didn't go out in this big, epic battle, you know. No, it's just, it's a bomb, boom, and that's it. But, I mean, considering their track record, they'll probably be back next year, so. <laughs> but still, I love these guys. So, I don't like them going out like, boom, and that's it. So, hopefully they will show up next year or like the next anniversary season or something, you know. So, yeah, that's all I have to say about Ninja Steel. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Like, <laughs> may you be forgotten about in 10 years. Like, man, never in my life did I think I'd rather see Power Rangers Samurai over a season that was written by Judd Lynn. Never in my life. Fall to God. I just... <laughs> Like what is what is going on? What what is going what is happening to the world? But yeah, that's where we are. So Beast Morphers, Beast Morphers comes out next year. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, I'll just watch, see what episode one do. I have no hope. <laughs> I have no hope. A lot of people are hopeful and y'all keep setting yourselves up for failure and that's fine. But <laughs> I'm going to look at episode one and see what that does. You know, I mean, it's the same writing team. Just because Hasbro's in charge, they kept the same writing staff. I mean, of course they would keep them anyway because Beast Morphers was already being developed before Hasbro even bought the Power Rangers franchise. So, same writers, I don't see any change <laughs> coming. I mean... I would love to be wrong. I would love to be wrong and be like, oh my God, Beast Morphers is really good. I never suspected that. I would love for that to happen, but I doubt it will. So, the one thing I do have hope about <laughs> is that I feel like the writers on the Power Rangers show, I feel like their job is like on thin ice right now. I, that's how I feel. I could be completely wrong. I have no way of being in the know of that, but I feel 
like their job is on thin ice because Hasbro spent what five hundred over five hundred million dollars for this Power Ranger franchise, right? And they put all this money in and they put all these statements about how the show wasn't being exploited good enough. Well, guess what? If your TV show is being written poorly, there's no way to fully explore this franchise. If the TV show is bad, then nobody's going to go out and see a fucking movie of Power Rangers. It's just not going to happen. If the, <laughs> you know, and that, it affects everything else. You know, if you want to fully exploit the franchise, then the TV show has to be good. And they spent 500 million fucking dollars. And if this TV show is still written poorly, then Hasbro is probably going to fire them. And you know what? <laughs> Good because look, these are real people, right? So I don't I don't take that much glee in putting people out of a job, you know. But this is my TV show, <laughs> okay? And I am tired of having bad Power Ranger seasons. And y'all can y'all can write on anybody else's TV show, like fuck up somebody else's show, okay? Why fuck up mine, okay? <laughs> Why fuck mine up? Fuck up somebody else. Okay, so that's the only thing that I'm kind of having hope for is that if they do fuck up Beast Morphers, they'll probably be out of a job. I don't think Hasbro is going to play these games. <laughs> but I could be wrong on that. But yeah, um, that's the end of this video. So, if you're watching this video, do y'all have any final thoughts about Ninja Steel that you want to share? Let me know in the comments if you would be so kind. Alright, later guys. Jamata.